Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to build this neural style transfer app in Python. Now we're going to use Dash as the front end interface, and then we'll use a machine learning model that uses TensorFlow as the back end. Now the machine learning model was um, built by my colleague uh, Schaff, and uh, we'll talk about that more specifically and in depth in a video that we're going to make together in a couple of weeks. But for now, we have this app that transfers the style of a certain image, in this case, Monet, to an image of your choice, in this case, Central Park, and reproduces a new image out of that. Now, this is very cool. This is part of our uh, May community project on charming data. If you scroll here down here, we can see the code and we can see uh, more about the project. I'm going to put this link under the video so you can read more about it. But in essence, uh, this community is a place where we work on Python and AI projects together to build our career portfolio, to uh, be more attractive to future employers and, and, and build a career in AI. Uh, this project was about AI's impact on artist compensation. We started a few weeks ago. So come join us. It's completely free. It's open and you can still learn a lot and maybe even participate in this project. These two posts talk a little bit more about the project and we're going to go over the code today. But first, let's see an example of how this app works. So I'm going to refresh. We'll do drag and drop for the content image. I just want to choose, let's say, Central Park. And then the style image that I would like to transfer to Central Park image, we'll choose Monet. There we go. And now, as soon as we click the style, stylized image, it's going to activate the callback. You see it's updating here. You see the spinner. And the callback is, um, is actually reaching out to the, to the back end in TensorFlow, the machine learning model, to do the neural trial, neural style transfer. Let's see. And there we go. You see how neat this was? We just transferred the uh, Monet I guess, artistic style to the Central Park image. Let's zoom in a little bit, and this is how it looks like. Pretty cool. So again, the, the back end, TensorFlow, the machine learning model, will go into uh, greater depth in a couple of weeks when we make that video. Uh, so don't forget to sign up to uh, Charming Data, turn on your notifications, so you get the announcement of this video coming out. Um, but for now, let's look at the, at the front end and how we as a community built this app together. So the code is going to be up here, but I'm going to, I put the code here, in a pie charm. So it's a little bit easier for you to view. Okay. So first we're just importing the libraries that we need. Uh, the endpoint, uh, I think it's in charming data, but it's just an endpoint to the back end uh, machine learning model that is on Google, on the Google cloud. Um, and then we initiate our app and we create the layout. Let me put this side by side so you can see. You'll see in the layout, we have our title here, neural style transfer, H1, it's a header. And then underneath we have two upload buttons, right? Right here, you see, we have our dash bootstrap form inside the form, inside the list. We have the first upload button and then we have the second upload button right here, right? You can only upload one file at a time, give it some styling. I just copied this from uh, the Dash documentation or, or uh, ChatGPT. And, uh, and these are the titles, right? Drag and drop, select an image, or drag and drop, select the style image right here. Okay, now, now that we have these two, we're gonna put a button to, to stylize the image and, and activate um, and trigger the backend machine learning model, right? And here we have underneath, we have two HTML images. Now at the beginning, when we refresh, you see these two images here, there's nothing. Underneath the button, there are no images, it's empty. But we're going to, see it says here, upload images. But as soon as we click the button, you'll see in the callback below, right here, we're going to upload the images and return them or assign the images to the source a SRC, SRC uh, property of HTML image, right? HTML image, if you do click, left click, control, left click, you can read more about it in the dash docs, 
but the source is where you uh, actually uh, insert uh, the image, the image data, right? To display the image. And this is exactly what we're going to do here, right? We're taking the input, these two inputs, the contents um, property of the content upload and the style upload. The, these inputs are the upload button, content upload, and style upload. So instead of the children, we're going to take the content uh, property and what, what content we uploaded. And we're going to say, if the content is not none, if there's something that we actually chose, let's say Central Park, then what it's going to do, it's going to take that image that we chose and uh, assign it right here, return, return it to the source property of the upload content image. Let's go and see where, what this is. This is a different component. Upload content image right here. So we're going to assign the content of this upload uh, uh, component to the source of this um, component right here. And we're going to do the same thing with the second uh, upload. Let's say Monet. Gonna, that's going to trigger. It's an input. It's going to trigger the callback. And it's going to um, assign it to the source of the second HTML image, which is now right here to the right. Okay, now we have the two images. Now, as soon as we click this button, stylize image, it's going to trigger the end clicks of this button is going to trigger the second callback. And the second callback is what communicates with the uh, machine learning model at the back end to actually produce a new image. I'm going to click on this right now. And while it's thinking, let's see what I just did. So I end clicked. This is the input. Input is what activates the callback. State just reads um, uh, the information, but does not activate it. And then clicks does. So we activated the callback. We're going to listen to the content image and the style image. Now this is going to be taken from the contents of content upload. Where is content upload? This is our input content upload. So we're actually going to uh, take uh, the file, we, we don't care about the image that we display, it's just to display, just so people can see it. But the contents are in the upload, they're in the browser, they're the client's browser. So we're going to take the content, the file, and we're going to say of both, and we're going to say if it's not none, do this uh, fancy Python <laughs> script where we split it, and we uh, base 64, we decode it, uh, we return it inside a dictionary, and all of this is language that Shaf gave me for the backend uh, function here, where we connect to the backend, stylize, um, I guess, page or function, and we feed it the files, these two files right here, and the content of these two files, and then we activate it, right? Then we actually do the neural style transfer and return it. This is how you return the data of an image and all of this right here is being returned to the source of the last html image the last html image is right down here below right here the last one so it's being returned to the source like this src equals like that oops like that it's being returned to to the source right but this is dynamic. I want it to be dynamic, so I'm not going to define it here in the layout. I'm going to leave it out. And only once I click this button and it creates the last image, will it return this um, this uh, data, image data, to the, uh, to the image. And that's it. This is how we have our last image here, uh, how our, our backend and TensorFlow was able to do the neural style transfer. And again, in two, three weeks, we're going to create another video specifically with the Charming Data community, a few people that created similar apps, uh, and Shaf, who actually created the notebook for, um, for also the attribution page, where we get to see uh, the uh, similarity or the correlation between two different images. Because uh, the goal of this project is really to learn Python and AI while we do good in the world. And in this since the good that we do is we're trying to raise awareness for artist compensation, 
right? Dal E or an, many different platforms out, out there have been trained on artist data and they don't always get, um, in most cases, they don't get compensation or even recognized as, as styles that have been used to train um, and they often each get resold, right? Um, I've had friends whose uh, art has been uh, stolen and sold as AI art, which is not right. So to raise awareness, we're in this project. Come join us. It's not too late. It's free. It's open. And uh, say hi to the community so we can uh, so we can get to know you. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next week.